Let's see. Where did I leave off? Oh yeah, I got our butt kicked by Kartikeya, because, you know, this this game loves scripted fights that you can't win, uh, for some reason. <laughs> it's like, can I ever win a fight, please? It's like, yes, you can, toward the end game, and it's like, okay, fine. Uh, let's see. How's it going, Martyr? Hope you're doing well. Let's see. East end of the main plaza. Okay. Uh, just continuing my uh, Wild Arms 5 playthrough, because I've been playing through the entirety of the Wild Arms series. Um, yeah. I'm happy about it. Small building. Okay. I'm like looking at my guide to make sure I don't miss like chests or whatnot. So, gonna be a more comfy. Stream day. Oh, I don't have any more duplicators. That sucks. Okay. Uh. Oh, I can get some in the second area. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. Between two houses. Oh, there we go. Um, on the dock. I had to do something with that sign. I didn't remember what. Rip that restaurant sign. It's okay. That this village got wrecked by Cardikea anyway. Okay, now I can grab that chest. Side. Uh, more. Okay, more duplicators are nice. <laughs> Rip sign. Rip this town, dude. <laughs> I haven't done a lengthier casual stream in a while, so I figured why not. Probably take a break at some point to uh, quickly make lunch. Or rather, just put food in the oven and then wait for it to be done. <laughs> casual? What face? I know, right? Disgusting. Who does that? Why is Rebecca in my team? I just noticed. Get out. I feel dirty now. <coughs> Sorry. cost a lot.
but I think I can afford them all. Yeah, I can. Durandal in bullet form. Yeah. <laughs> Except, you know, uh, Avril has a sword, which gets bullets. I don't get it either. <laughs> like, look, she has a sword. <laughs> it's not a gun blade either. I can- I can assure you of that. Let me... sell my old stuff here. Gunblade FF8 style? Yeah, totally. Um... I have to find a train station. Okay. Which, of course, the guy does not tell me where it is. Uh... Reminds me of FF Tactics game. You know you attempted one of the... Uh... Well, there's Wild Arms XF, which is on PSP. Uh, and yeah, it is like Tactics. Which, I've never finished that game, so... Uh... barely started. It's a difficult game, I'm not gonna lie. FFT is too big brain for you. Well, Wild Arms XF is a difficult game. FFT, the early game is tough if you're not used to it. Uh, the like late mid game is tough too, and then the late game is also tough. Where should we take them from? I just slipped. That's all. But I'm definitely familiar with with a FFT. Very much so. Rest in peace beneath the earth. Go, go, go! It's refreshing! I'm not losing! Not before the wall goes down! Um... Don't mind my vehicle. <laughs> like the wind. Yeah, <laughs> good question. 
Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to backtrack through this place, which sucks, but it's alright. I can at least turn encounters off because I've already been here. Get a heal here too. if the whole wheel motif was just for show and the actual wheel was like a tank treads on the bottom and then the front was glass but Jesus that is not safe yeah whoops I can't wait until I get the teleport orb. Then I can just warp places. What? Uh, wrong way. Or was it? Hold on. I'm trying to get my bearings for a sec here. Okay, yep. Time for unsafe driving conditions part two. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> Can I not? Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm f considered playing XF uh, as part of the Wild Arms Marathon because I've been playing through each and every Wild Arms game, but you know, it's a spin off and I've never beat it. So it'd be like a blind playthrough slash not really. Plus, I'd be playing it on an emulator, which, you know, I'm not too keen on. Because I don't have a way to capture PSP, unless I did, like, jank webcam feed, which I'm not doing. <laughs> uh. Hey, Dean, got a minute? Sure, what's up? Nothing really, I just, you know, I thought it would be nice to talk together every once in a while. Ever since we started on this journey, we haven't really had any chances to talk, you know? Just the two of us? Yeah, now that you mention it, back in Capo Bronco, we were together all the time. It sure hasn't turned into a long journey, hasn't it? Yeah, I'd never have even dreamed I'd be going on a big adventure like this. So, I was just kind of wondering, have your uh, feelings changed any? I mean, over all this time and everything? Huh? My feelings? Well, I know I've seen a whole bunch of... a whole bunch ever since we left, so I feel like I've grown up a bit inside. Is that what you mean? No feelings, you know, I mean... Ugh, I'm no good at this kind of talk. What I mean is, with all the people we've met, have you found anyone who you 
you know, like... Of course, Avril, Greg, Chuck, Carol, I like everybody. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Talking about girls, you know, like a girlfriend, is there anybody like that for you? Hey, what are you getting at? Of course not. Really, hasn't there even been one girl that made you go, whoa, or something? Hey, Tiyutsuke. No, I said, leave me out of the dirty stuff, okay? Not talking about anything dirty, but we're both at that age, you know? So I figured, you know, you might have found someone out of all the people we've met, that's all. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess we're not just little kids anymore, but no, I haven't thought about it much. How about you then, Rebecca? Is there a guy you like? Huh? Me? No, I, uh... Well, I mean, I guess maybe. Whoa, really? Who is it, Chuck? I mean, it is for me, but anyway. No, besides, he li he likes Lucille. Whoa, he does? I had no idea. How dense can one person be? Achoo! Catching a cold? You sneeze back at Lady Diana's mansion too, no? Well, I don't feel like I have a cold. But I guess I'd better be careful just the same. It's no time to be getting sick after all. Hmm, is it Greg then? At his age? Are you crazy? He wouldn't even give me a second glance. Achoo! Do you have a cold too, Greg? Might have caught Chuck's. Hey, don't blame me. You won't catch cold if you keep yourself in good condition. That doesn't sound too convincing coming from you. Well then, it's not that professor that Carol's been searching for, is it? Dean, don't make me hit you. Anyway, we're not talking about me here. We're talking about you. Let me put it this way. Which one of us do you like best? Huh? Who are you talking about? Avril, Carol, and, um, me. Hey, that's not fair. How do you expect me to... Don't even think about dodging the question. Who do you... What was that? Came from out front. I'm going out for a look. Right behind you. <sighs> what? What happened to the train? The cars in the back are gone, too. What's that? A golem. A golem? We're gonna crash into it. We'll have to jump, run for it. Ugh, at least we're safe. Yes, it looks like we've only suffered a few scratches. What was that golem thing doing here anyway? I'd guess it's some Varuni trying to interfere with us. There's no way a human would have have such a high-spec golem. But still, just dropping it in the middle of the tracks like that? I mean, how crazy can they... Ah, it's the golem! Watch out! Dean, that promise not to crash golems. I'm putting it on hold. Right now, we don't have a choice. Just do whatever it takes to survive. Golem fight music! I'm First time now. we get to hear it. Go, go, go!
actually going to just swap to Avril here. Magic's not going to do much good. the guaranteed critical from his first attack. Ah, uh, here we go. The sword bullets. The sword. Let me teach you. Prepare for some serious damage. Such a relief. Give me all Yeah, and thanks to the Laurel Crown badge I have on Avril, uh, she heals for double. So that's nice. She heals herself for double, I should mention, not everybody else, sadly, which is fine. I'll crush with all I got. We destroyed it, didn't we? We destroyed a golem. All I can say is, it's not the golem's fault. Golems can be good or bad, but it all depends on who's operating them. I have to admit, Dean's really grown up. The old Dean would have been running around in a panic over something like this. I only hope I can keep up with him. So where are we now? It looks like we're not too far from Lila Bell. Well, let's stop in Lila Bell and prepare ourselves. We can we can start out again from there. Yeah. Plot's getting good soon. Can't wait. Um... Tim. Cardakea. Well, well, look who's here. Greg, no, not out in the open like this. What if a stray bullet were to hit somebody? Out of the way, Dean. There's no, no telling when I'll have another chance like this. 
No, if someone innocent gets killed, then you'll be the one who everyone wants dead. Don't start a chain of revenge. Nobody wants that. You should know be that better than anyone. Don't stoop to his level, Greg. How positively well-mannered you are! After all, you sure wouldn't want to be thought of like me, would you? I told you, I'm not going anywhere. If you don't like it here, we can try somewhere else. Tell you what, I'll wait for you at that slum down south. If you want to run away with your tail between your legs, feel free! You'll go to Mithismir, won't you? Of course. Time to take care of that bastard once and for all. What is it, Fairy Dune? I have just received a report on the golem that was tested, used to test the new power generator. Ah, the one I gave to Kardakea. He seemed to be quite pleased with it. According to the report, the golem destroyed an entire town. I am certain my liege is aware of Kardakea's personality, but could this outcome not have been predicted? Indeed, it is in fact that very reason that I provided Kardakea with such a toy. I consider it an e eminent, eminently reasonable method of testing the golem's battle capabilities, wouldn't you agree? With all due respect, I cannot agree with such meaningless slaughter, even of humans. Is that so? You've always been faithful to me, Fairy Dune, and I will respect your opinion. But once Johnny Appleseed is returned to us, the lives of humans will be as nothing. It is but small difference, especially now that Cardikea has made contact with Johnny Appleseed. What? Then... Yes, I expect that he will nullify your failure. My apologies for that. I failed only because I was concerned for Lady Diana's welfare and did not wish to engage in battle nearby. Do not concern yourself over such simple matters. After all, you have always served me most admirably. Besides, it will not be long before all coale coalesces into one, before all my di desires are fulfilled. My fave FFX. Oh, come on. Alter, please. How did the race end? Uh. Well. Uh, I got in last, and it wasn't by much. Um, basically, I was four minutes ahead until Unalaska, and I was short on power spheres, so I had to go back and waste, like, five minutes to get some power spheres, and yeah, but if I don't make that mistake again, then PB is, you know, literally free. <laughs> Now I gotta add more compl more compliments. Okay. Which is fine, I don't mind reading them. Yeah. I should just leave that list open. It's it's private and I just leave it there. <laughs> Been waiting for you, Johnny Appleseed. It is time for you to return home. So yeah, the plot's about to get, um, pretty interesting. <laughs> so, um, the bad guys have been looking for this Johnny Appleseed person who, uh, is actually Avril. But she doesn't know it. And, uh, yeah. She's part of our group. You like watching the runs, otherwise you wouldn't watch them, so keep the BBs. Uh, yeah, for sure. 
I'll get back to it next week, Friday, as usual, so. Make a save here. Because, uh, like I said, plot's about to get pretty promising. I know I made a shortcut to area 10, but I, it's beyond me knowing where <laughs> area 10 actually is. Okay, there we go. Finally, it sure took you long enough. Let's do this, Cardakea. I'll take care of you right here, right now. Huh? Whatever are you talking about? What? You're the one who suggested coming here. Hmm, I don't recall suggesting anything of the sort. Ugh, don't play games with me. Don't worry, as it happens, I'm not here to play games. We'll have to save that for another time, I'm afraid. I'm here for the young lady with the silver hair. You! Me? What? We'd like to have a word with you. Will you come with us? I have nothing to say to you. Don't make this harder than it has to be, or don't you care what happens to the others? And Kartikeya, behave yourself for a change. Must you always make a big production out of everything? Remember why I was assigned to watch over you. What would you do if you missed and killed the Ice Queen by accident? I know, I know, I just got a little carried away. Sheesh, sue me. <sighs> so, will you come with us? If you don't cause any trouble, we won't harm them. Very well, as long as you keep your word. An excellent choice, now let's go. Captain, we just received word that Johnny Appleseed has been captured by the Radicals. What? You're certain? Yes, absolutely. What should we do? If she's been taken, we'll just have to take her back. We've already managed to bring the T TF system up to 20% power. If they take it any further, it'll be the end of all native life on Fulgaia, including humans. We can't waste an instant. I'll go out myself if I have to. In the name of the Mayflower, we must take back Johnny Appleseed. Yes, sir. And if the Ice Queen, Avril Van Fleur, has reawakened, don't hesitate to kill her, otherwise she'll kill us first. Yes, sir. It's getting interesting. Ow, 
both those bastards slamming us around like that. Huh? Where are we? Oh, Dean, you're awake. Ugh, oh, those idiots throwing us around like that. Where are we, anyway? <laughs> you both wake up at the same time, saying almost the exact same things. This is their base, it looks like. We were taken here after Kardakea and Persephone captured us. Well, a cell inside their base, to be more precise. Huh? Where's Avril? What? She's not here? No, she's not. It looks like she was with them all along. What? What do you mean, she was with them? After they threw us in here, they let her away. They were treating her practically like royalty. They said Vol someone was waiting for her. What? She can't be... There's gotta be some mistake. I can't believe she'd have... You! Ouch! The boss Volsung wants to see you. Where are you taking us? This is the end. Where, where are we? Like I just said, the end. The end of your lives, I'm afraid. The end of our lives? There's no telling what they're planning. Watch out. But I'm not ready to die yet. Professor. Damn it, not before I've had my revenge. You lied. Hey, that voice, isn't that... Avril? You promised to let them go if I remained here. What is the meaning of this? As promised, I'm letting them go. In a short time, humanity itself will perish, will it not? I'm simply giving them a head start on the path toward their inevitable fate. This is not my desire. Stop this immediately. Your Majesty, how you have changed from the Ice Queen of the days past. Avril Van Fleur, the Ice Queen, leader of the radical movement of 12,000 years ago, and the one who ruthlessly cut down the moderates. Wherever has she gone? 12,000 years ago? What are you talking about? So that's it. You must have lost your memory when you were abducted. Your Majesty. Th th there's this, an inconsequential race, unnecessary for the, our survival on this planet. If only you could recover your memory, you would surely see them f for the mere insects they are. Surely you agree they should be spared such pain. Come, my Ice Queen. It is time for you to relax. Area? Hey, yes, very good. So, shall we see how things unfold? Avril, where are you? Avril, if you can hear me, answer. It's us, your friends. Friends? They speak but nonsense. Pay them no heed. I see. Dean, looks like we've got more important things to worry about. Here comes trouble. Damn it! Yep. Probably next month. Gotta love go scripted boss fights. They're the best. Let me teach you this game has way too many of them. Got to get stronger. That's 
that's kind of the reason why 5 is like on the bottom of my preferences for Wild Arms games. All the scripted losses. As long as you don't give up, and that includes beating you! <laughs> the boy is certainly a live one. He is completely doomed, and yet still clinging to these delusions of survival. I am curious as to what he will say when he gives in to the inevitable. Anything. As long as you don't give up. What did you say? Is there a problem, your majesty? Or, should I say the fated leader of our people, Johnny Appleseed? You can do anything, as long as you don't give up. I beg your pardon, your majesty? You can do anything, as long as you don't give up. You can do anything, as long as you don't give up. You can do anything, as long as you don't give up. <laughs> Dean! <sighs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> don't touch me! Golems to me. Uh, uh, Avril, are you crazy? Look what they did to us. No human could beat them alone. <laughs> it's all right. It seems I'm not exactly human anyway. There's no need to worry. I'll be fine. Stop it, Avril! You have to get out of there! Thank you, Rebecca, for everything you've done for me. Now it's my turn to stay here and return the favor! Unbelievable! She is nothing at all like the Avril we knew before. She has really changed. Dean, take your friends and go. I'll handle things here. No! Avril, this is crazy! Don't let them escape! Block the exits! This is as far as you go. As you can see, there's no way out. Well, I don't care. You're not taking Avril away. Oh, really? Well, shucks. I guess we'll just have to kill you then. <laughs> Very well. Prepare yourselves. This doesn't look so good, Dean. Damn it. I'll try and distract them. Here goes nothing. What the? to... You 
you want us to get on? Watch it. Keep your eyes open. This might be a trap. Right. I get it. Come on, everybody! Get on board the golem! Quick! this place where are we hey the hell is that fear not friends we're on your side hurry it up Avril. pirates don't even think about it was cool both of them you you dare take avril ventfleur from me again <laughs> Master Volson. Let it burn. Let it all burn. Destroy every one of them until only one remains. Wow, 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 wow! Things just aren't supposed to be this cool! I know how you feel, Dean, but calm down, okay? He's just excited, that's all. Really need tea, BRB. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> world we've never seen, and what is this, a spaceship? Everything's so confusing and different. I wonder if this is that Locus Solus that Lady Diana was talking about. She did say it was the colony ship that the Varuni lived on before settling on Filgaia. Could be at that. Hey, Johnny Appleseed's waiting for you. 
Johnny Appleseed? Yes, we finally found him! So, we can finally meet Johnny Appleseed, huh? It sure took us long enough. But we finally made it, huh, Avril? Avril, what's with the serious look? Huh? Did I have a serious look on my face? Well, yeah, a little. But it's only natural, if you ask me. I mean, you're finally gonna meet the person you've been looking for all this time. If it was me, I know I'd practically be collapsing from the pressure. I mean, even now I can barely stand. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. There you go, I'm glad you're feeling a little better. Hey, hurry it up, you two! We're coming! Shall we, Avril? Yes, let's go. Seventeen atmospheres of pressure, huh? Hey, Crispy. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's upgraded. I'm not voicing NPCs, by the way. <laughs> like, there's no point. Uh, I will save, but I'm going to make a separate save. Because we're in the part of the plot where, uh... Well... You're stuck for a little bit in a certain area. It's that cool guy from before. So you're Johnny Appleseed, huh? <laughs> Guess I got a little carried away there. Pardon me. I don't think it'd be right to call myself Johnny Appleseed in this company, now would it? I'm the former Johnny, to be accurate. Former? Now I'm totally confused. <laughs> Sorry about that. Johnny Appleseed was a name they gave me in ancient days to people who opened up new lands. Hey, come to think of it, the mayor of Gaunon said the same thing about a custom of planting apple seeds for people that came came later. Oh, you know about it? That makes it easy. So yeah, we call our leader Johnny Appleseed in order in honor of that tradition. Wait, so you mean there's more than one Johnny Appleseed? Yeah, basically. It's a title given to only one person at a time. 
Oh, so you were the previous one. Yep, exactly. You catch on fast. So then who's the current Johnny? <laughs> You'd never guess. Happens to be someone you know quite well. A certain lady named Avril Ventfleur. She's the current Johnny Appleseed. What? Avril, you're Johnny Appleseed? Well, she hasn't gone through all the ceremonies and stuff yet, but for all intents and purposes, yeah. So the person we came all this way for, way to find, is actually Avril? All this time, she was right under our noses. I'm Johnny Appleseed. Hey, what's wrong, Avril? Well, Avril's suffering from amnesia, so... What? She lost her memory? That explains a lot. No wonder the Radicals hadn't fully activated the TF system. They couldn't. But wait, she shouldn't have forgotten her position. Unless maybe when we lost her. So if Avril is Johnny Appleseed, then I guess she's a Varuni, right? Well, not exactly. She's neither human nor Varuni. She's a common ancestor of both, an inhabitant of Filgaia from 12,000 years ago. What, you're not surprised? And here I was, all set for another big outburst. Well, it's just not easy to imagine that she could be 12,000 years old. I mean, she looks so young. Yeah, you got a point. Sorry about that. It's a bit complicated, but let me explain. Do you see? When I got up, my legs went like, nah, too much sports. Oof. Many apologies, my leash. I was unable to recapture her. Though I must admit, it was unexpected that the moderates would attempt such a drastic move. I told you, we should have just killed her when we had the chance! And then how would we activate the TF system, genius? Watch your mouth, Kartikeya. But where is Elvis? I know he was summoned. He's out at the coffin. He said there was something he wanted to check on. That man, he has no sense of responsibility at all. You, bring him back now. Yes, sir. My liege, please accept my apologies. I will personally see to it that we succeed in recovering Avril. No, remain here until Elvis has returned. I have another idea. Let us offer eternal rest to those who hesitate to embrace death. This is my friend Rebecca, who I grew up with. It's nice to meet you, sir. And I'm Dean. Nice to meet you, Captain. Well then, from the top, welcome to the Mayflower. I'm the ship's captain, Bartholomew. Hey, that's a Wild Arms 1 reference. Call me whatever you like, as long as it's not Johnny Appleseed, okay? Like I said before, I was only Johnny up until the settlement on Filgaia. Now I'm just the captain of the Mayflower. Gotcha, I'll just call you captain then. So, back to what you were talking about. All that about the Radicals trying to use this TF system to reform Fulgaia, is that all true? Yeah, I'm afraid so. They're no different from the Radicals that left Fulgaia 12,000 years ago. They won't hesitate to use the TF system for their own ends, regardless of what it does to anyone else. You said reform the planet. Do you mean it's a device to restore Fulgaia from its weakened state? Not exactly. To be accurate, it would reform the planet to make it suitable for Varuni to live on. As it is now, Fulgaia is rejecting the Varuni. Many of us fall ill and even die from its effects. But even so, Fulgaia itself is suffering from disease. If we were to cure the disease and restore Fulgaia to its former strength, its rejection of the Varuni would become that much stronger, and we'd be even worse off. So, it's closer to reform than restore, but they only care about making it easier for Varuni to live, regardless of what happens to other native life forms. Regardless of what happens to other native life forms, you don't mean. I'm afraid I do. The cost of using the TF system would be the death of all native life on Filgaia, including humans. 
What? What do you mean, the death of humans? Exactly what I said. Pretty selfish of those radicals, don't you think? Even now, at 20% power, we're starting to hear of human casualties. Hey, now that you mention it, I wonder if Pastel's illness was caused by the TF system. Then maybe that time I got a fever, too? It's just as bad as I feared. And if it's this bad at low, low power levels, then running it at full power would result in the extinction of all humanity. No, we can't let them do that. Don't worry, they can't bring it to full power as long as Avril's lost her memory. What do you mean? What does Avril have to do with the TF system? The TF system was built with a lock so that it could only be activated by the leader of the Radical Movement. Radicals of 12,000 years ago, that is. The only person authorized to activate it was the king. Well, at the time it was a queen, so the queen of Filgaia. Without that authorization, the TF system's power source cannot be activated. This is all ancient stuff. For one thing, there's no system of royalty in place today, and the bloodline has long since died off, too. All the modern radicals have been been able to do is f feed it power from an alternative source, and that 20% is the best they can do. So they can't make full use of it anymore. Wait a minute, you said Avril was from 12,000 years ago, right? Exactly. Avril's the sole remaining member of that royal family, awake now after 12,000 years in cold sleep. Because of her icy, ruthless manner, they referred to her as the Ice Queen in those days. Cold sleep, I was a queen? So, Avril's the only one who can activate the TF system, which means she's the de facto leader of the Varuni Johnny Appleseed. Wait a minute. Save the Queen. If Avril had the authority to activate the TF system, she must have been one of the Radicals, yes? But the Radicals took to space. Why did she remain on Filgaia instead of joining them? Avril's the one to ask, don't you think? But without my memories... I could help you with that, actually, if you've got the courage for it. Courage? Well, if your memories return, the personnel of the Ice Queen may come along with them. In that case, everyone here would become your enemy. Avril, an enemy? But we've spent so long together, we've become such good friends. Yeah, and that's what I'm counting on, the bond you've developed with Avril. Hoping the strength of those bonds will overcome the ruthless personality of the Ice Queen. That way, she can regain her memory while still r remaining the same Avril she is now. I'd like you all to help with that. You sure are awfully cooperative. What's in it for you? Well, if you want to put it that way, then yeah. We're using you all for, that, for political gain. If Avril doesn't become the Ice Queen, it's a victory for the moderates, after all. I see. A little give and take, huh? Yeah, so with that out of the way, all that's left is you, Avril. Do you trust them enough to try to get your memories back? I'm afraid. Afraid of becoming someone else. Afraid that I may turn on my friends when I recover my memory. I cannot let that happen. So you want to pass then? It's up to you. There's still a chance your memories could retain naturally, return naturally and the danger wouldn't be any less. Given that, we'll have no choice but to confine you here. And until that ha- uh, um, Here, unless- and until that happens. You okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not, Avril. You said so yourself. I've had enough of cold, dark places. The sunlight is just a few steps away. You can't possibly want to spend the rest of your life holed up in a ship like this. I won't let that happen. Dean, I appreciate your sentiments, but... Avril, do you really think the bonds between us are that weak? Something that would break just because you got your memory back. I don't. Not even the strongest arm could break them. Dean. I guess I'm not 
quite as optimistic as Dean, but we are friends after all. Even if you do become the Ice Queen again, we can still be friends, right? Rebecca. Wait, wait. I can't let you two steal all the excitement. We've spent a lot of time traveling together with Avril, too, after all. We know full well that Avril's not a bad person, right, Carol, Greg? Yes. Of course. Chuck, Carol, Greg. Got yourself some good companions there, Avril. Yes, they're invaluable to me. Come on, Avril, let's give it a try. There's nothing to be afraid of. We won't give up on you. Not even the strongest arm, so if someone tried to arm wrestle our bonds, they couldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, you missed a lot of plot. Um, Avril is actually this being called the Ice Queen, who, uh, is basically the leader of the Varuni people. She is Johnny Appleseed. Uh, she was basically the leader of these radicals, aka the bad guys, from 12,000 years ago. Um, yeah, that, that about wraps it up. <laughs> ah, okay. Trust us, Avril. Dean, thank you. Captain Bartholomew, I would like to try to regain my memories after all. Alright, good choice, Avril. In order to get her memories back, I'm gonna have you dive into Avril's mind. You should be able to recover her memories while keeping the Ice Queen sealed deep inside her. But are you really okay with that, Captain? If we seal away the Ice Queen, then you won't be able to use the TF system anymore. Won't that endanger the Varuni? Well, I wish I had a nice clear answer to that, but don't worry, we'll figure something out. It certainly can't be as hard as it's been for you to protect Avril all this time. Besides, just trying to save ourselves with no regard for other life is way too irresponsible. If we do that, we'll just be setting up ourselves for disaster when the same thing happens again in the future. That's how we moderates look at things. That's certainly a constructive opinion. It's nice to know there are Varuni who think that way. But didn't Lady Diana also agree with our actions? Diana? Haven't seen her in a while. Hmm, what? Were you two lovers or something? <laughs> who knows? I've forgotten all that historical stuff. And yet, you know so much about the world 12,000 years ago. Fair enough. I'll be waiting in the sick bay. Let me know when you're prepared. All right, we're ready to go into Avril's mind. And uh, if the bonds aren't strong enough between Dean and her, or like her friends and Avril, uh, she's gonna reawaken as the Ice Queen and, uh, you know, become an enemy and destroy the world. No pressure, right? No pressure. <laughs> like I said, the plot just kind of like snowballs real quick right now. <laughs> so, you're prepared? Yeah, whenever, ready whenever you are. Then each of you take out your mediums. Her mediums? Yeah, mediums are used to connect their owners with something. Normally, they connect people with Fogaya, but this time, we'll use them to connect each each of your conscious... Consciousnesses. Consciousnesses. That is a word. <laughs> Consciousnesses. <laughs> oh, I see. Kind of like that machine back near Honey's Day. Here, let me give you this. Use it if you need to escape from Avril's mind and come back here. Avril's memories are probably hidden away in her subconscious. You'll need to find and restore them. As I said before, there's a possibility that doing that could return her to her former ruthless self. Again, no pressure. Right, but we won't let that happen. 
I am well prepared to fight alongside them as well. Alright, ready then? Here goes. Welcome to the memory maze. This is inside my mind. Not sure, but I feel like I feel something like hesitation or doubt. Yeah, me too. Hesitation, doubt. Yes, perhaps. During our travels together, I was always concerned that I might be deceiving you. There is a sense of guilt as well, which I still do not understand. And even now I'm surrounded by fear. Fear that I may be able to un I may not be able to remain myself when I recover my memories. Let's take care of that fear, shall we? That's why we're here, after all. I remember seeing you from the gallows in Mirapulse. You look like someone completely different, almost scary. But you saved me, didn't you? Talking about how important promises are and all that. Yeah, I remember that too. She looked totally different than she had before. But she didn't seem like a bad person at all. And saying that promises are sacred, it sure sounded to me like you made some sort of important promise. Promises are sacred. Yeah, it sure sounded like you meant it, but you, you've forgotten it, haven't you? So Avril is within her own mind, hmm? Yep. Yes. I... Like, Avril as she currently is, without her memories, is inside of her mind. And her mind here contains the memories of her former self, aka the Ice Queen. That's what we're inside of right now. So. If that makes sense. It's confusing, I know. It's like, it's like we're inside the memories of her alter ego. Think of it more that way. So we better go find out what it was, don't you think? Yes, I suppose we should. Very well, I won't hesitate any longer. Let's go, Dean, to where my memories await. I will be back in just a sec. I did say I was going to make food, so I'm just going to toss some food in the oven real quick. So I'll be RB.
freaking bot showing up while I'm making food. Um, yeah, isn't that a huge coinkadink? It's like uh, Wild Arms plots are all like connected to each other and they're all like extremely similar to each other. Searching. Just need to keep an ear out for my toaster oven. So I know when food's done. Bots gotta sneak in and be bots. What? What? My cat's chilling on my bed because I made my bed. <laughs> He's like, this is so nice and comfy. You can't pass up this chance. You like it? That one part of it is just a mating, yeah. It's okay, buddy. I'm I'm doing I'm doing casual playthrough so you can stay in my room. I don't normally have my cat in my room when I'm streaming. Well, cats, plural. So this one right next to me, his name is Cody, uh, K-O-D-I-E. Uh, the other one is Caesar. Uh, he's an orange tabby. Here we go. The one next to me is an orange, uh, or I'm sorry, a gray long hair cat. He, he's super fluffy and, aff and affectionate. Uh, Cody used to have a sister, her name was Sheba. Uh, but she passed away, unfortunately. She was adorable. So, which is funny because his sister used to be super affectionate and I think she's like, I think uh, he's kind of like taken over as like the super affectionate cat it's like well i gotta make up for her <laughs> and it's just it's adorable we gotta protect everyone you used to have a black cat with a very very dark gray pattern called hades ah i love pets like anytime people want to send me pictures of their pets like go right ahead i i love animals doesn't matter if they're exotic either like, I love them so much. Also, boing and jiggle. Don't think I didn't notice. One sec. Sure. The sick bed. Let's go. So we are weak to fire. But you don't take magic damage. No dude, not the bed that is sick. No, dude. I don't feel like losing today. Here we go. This is refreshing. 
unnecessary crit, but he's guaranteed to crit on his first attack every battle because of a badge I have equipped to him, so... Unnecessary, but, you know, cool. I can't tell if he's mad or not because I put my, um, I put my pillows by me so now he doesn't have a spot to sit next to me. <laughs> Crit is always necessary. Of course, of course. Hi. I know I love you. You're super cuddly and fluffy. He's like, wait, what is this? Where's my spot? Yeah, because I put pillows there. <laughs> He's like... He's like, you're always sitting in that chair and I can get pets. I mean, my pillows are comfy. You can sit there. It's fine. There's your spam. Okay. It's not spam, though. Unless it is a, cat uh, a can of spam. <gasps> I can partially see Ultra's face. I can see Ultra's face. Gasp. Also, my food's ready, so I'll be right back. No, like, I was, like, looking through, like, the pictures, for, like, one at a time from top to bottom, and I'm like, oh, partially your face, and then I kept scrolling down, all of your face! <laughs> all of your... <laughs> As a matter of fact, when the single-armed golem rescued us earlier, I was able to recall a few things. I think sure was cool, wasn't it? I was so excited, I couldn't take it! It looked like the gol the kind of golem I'd always dreamed about m meeting. Now how you feel, Dean, but calm down. Cat love that spot on your shoulder? Yeah. Mine's a little too, um, big to fit on my shoulder. <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him and then he ran out of my room. <laughs> He needs to use the bathroom, apparently. Mm, I'm really excited to go poop! <laughs> now that you mentioned it, that golem did only have one arm, didn't it? Wonder if that might be related to the arm that carried you down when you we found you at Celestial Peak. I think it's likely, when the golem saved us, I felt like I'd experienced the same thing before. Right? I knew it! That golem is the greatest! That incident also brought back 
some of my memories since awakening from cold sleep. Bolsung was the one who woke me from my long slumber. Bolsung, he's the leader of the radicals we were talking about earlier, right? Yes, without a doubt, he was the one wor he was working on activating the TF system. But the only one with the ability to do that is one of the royal family, meaning you, Avril, right? Yes, which is why he sought me. Right now, they are using substitute en energy sources. So they woke you, the Ice Queen, in order to bring the TF system to full power. Yes, but I had lost my memories over the long period of time, so I was in cold sleep. So I was unable to recall the activation password that was passed down through the royal family. And the radicals were unable to bring the TF system to full power. Well, I guess that was lucky for us. If you'd had all your mem all your memories then, we probably wouldn't even be alive right now. Keep reading that name, Volsnug. Like, dang, that guy sure is snug. Volsung. V Volsnug attempted to restore my memories, but he was unsuccessful. Later, the moderates saw that golem tried to recover me from Volsnug. Now I'm purposely going to read it wrong, but Volsnug's men immediately chase after us. And the golem must have decided it could not escape with me as it ejected the arm carrying me. And you landed on Celestial Peak when we found you. So finally, everything fits together. These radicals are trying to save everybody from my acrobatic shooting. <laughs> if that's the case, we humans can't just let Volsnug be any be snug anymore. Otherwise, we'll just be heading toward our own extinction. <laughs> yeah, we gotta prevent that, no matter what. We gotta protect everyone from Rebecca's crazy shooting. Um, okay. I see area three. Ah, okay. I got a lot of reading to do. This is Celestial Peak. This is where my journey started and where I first met you, Dean. And I'll never forget the tear that rolled down my face when you carried me away from the edge of that collapsing cliff. I still don't know the reason for it, but I remember being filled with a feeling of familiar... Familiar... Familiarity... Holy crap. <laughs> familiar... Famili... Familiar... Oh my god, I can't say that word. <laughs> Holy god. I of warmth, and I couldn't help myself. I will carry those memories with me forever. Cold! Now that I don't have lines to read. <laughs> Buddy, no. Don't sit on my guidebook. I swear to God. <laughs> No, don't sit on my guidebook.
You want to take me on, huh? Wow. Epic. Epic. You move the spot, so the new spot is the book. Yeah, I know, right? Don't point. That felt good. Don't point. Shouldn't have picked a fight. That's fine. Well, I can't hit him because he's invincible. Can you stop doing that? Damn, I get a lot of experience here. <laughs> Carol, this is where we first met, isn't it? You were frightened of us then, cowering almost like a small animal. But you've grown up a lot since then. You're so smart for one so young. You always try your hardest. I hope you, you can reunite with the professor before long. I know, I'm sorry, I took your spot from you. Holy cow. Go chirp at birds like you were doing. <laughs> Greg, this is where I first saw you. I remember how, cons you were, how consumed you were with revenge, how painful it was to look on you. <laughs> oh, I wish I had camera right now. So my cat's like trying to nudge his nose into my guidebook and like turn the page. <laughs> it's really cute. But you nonetheless looked over us kindly, guided us like an elder brother. Now it is our turn to help you carry your burden. He's like, I'm gonna skip ahead. Here, I know what we're doing. Well, the thing is, he was turning it backwards. <laughs> so he's like, did you forget something? Did you... <laughs> oh, that was cute. He was a bit behind and wanted to catch up on the plot. <laughs> What's wrong, Avril? Are you still worried about something? Dean, I have a request to make of you. If, when I recover my memories, I should become the Ice Queen again. Please kill me yourself. What? What are you saying, Avril? If that were the case, I would desire nothing more than for my life to end at your hand. Don't be ridiculous. That's not what you want. You're just hiding your fear. Besides, even if you turn into the Ice Queen, I'll do whatever it takes to take you back. I won't give up. Thank you, Dean. Your refusal to give up gives me great confidence.
Hey, why can't you ever say that to me? Stop being a jealous bitch, Rebecca. Like, God. It doesn't have to always be about you. <laughs> well, you've never been in, a, in as tough a situation as she's in, have you? That has nothing to do with it. Girls just like to have boys say they'll protect them, you dingbat. When will you ever get it? I've never had anyone say anything like that to me either. I know it would make me happy if you said it to me. Wow, popular, aren't we, Dean? We can't say that to you, Rebecca, because you've shot one too many audience members. And Carol, your voice is just annoying. He sure is. If, o if only I could get Lucille to notice me as such. Ah, uh, enough of this. Right now we need to focus on getting Avril's memories back. Sorry, hiccups. So, basically there are three Avril statues here. We need to avoid their gaze. So I need to walk like around them so they don't see me, quote unquote. get into a random encounter. That's it. Nah. about grocery shopping. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Here we go. Targeted sight. Blowout. Um so certain enemies in the game uh, if you hit them with a certain element, they instantly die. So these slimes, if they're hit with fire, they just blow out. Instant death. Within the ga statue gaze, Carol keeps talking. <laughs> so you obviously want to avoid that. Please go easy on me! Like, oh god, her voice. Rebecca, this is where I felt your kindness and your strength. Your selfless efforts to try and find the medicine to cure Pastel truly impressed me. That kindness of yours has helped me on many occasions as well. Such feelings of kindness join people together, and so history is written. Did I mention the fluffy- the big fluffy cat is, like, super needy? <laughs> Cause he is. Like, he constantly wants attention. He's just, like, circling my chair right now. This is why I don't have you in my room when I'm speedrunning, by the way. It's because you never leave me alone. No, no, don't sit on my book. You 
to take me on, huh? <laughs> Here, you want you want something to sit on that's mine? Here. Take my phone. Take my phone. Here you go. I know you love sitting on my phone. I don't know why he likes sitting on my things, so I'm just like, here, I'm not using my phone, take it. <laughs> and he's like, nope, I want the book. And I'm like, no, you take my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have nowhere else to put my book right now. Because I have food on my desk. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Doesn't care about anything else, he just wants to sit on my book. I can has book. Now my cat's licking his, his uh, privates. Get a room. <laughs> Get a room. He's like, I have a room. Yours. And I'm like, <laughs> The end of one battle is the start of another. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Carol. No way to talk to your master. Um, Chuck's good on experience. I can unequip this from him for a little bit. Chuck, this is where you overcame your biggest hurdle. You learned to stop running away from the sorrow, the fear of losing those close to you. Don't forget that you're just as important to those people as they are to you. Those are the kinds of bonds, the kinds of feelings that create bonds between people. Point. 
Uh Let me teach you a thing or two. Final shot. I don't really care about Rebecca gaining experience, because uh, there's literally one time late in late game I'm going to use her, and that's it. I won! We won! We heard your voice, so I'd argue we did it. My eardrum lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, why is she the best black mage in the game? Why? <sighs> this device allowed each each of us to share our memories, but I couldn't recognize the scene that it showed for me. Perhaps it was showing me my future instead. Each of you has made some choice, some resolution that has taken you this far. Perhaps it will be my turn next. Yeah, so Greg's like the biggest physical attacker and tank. Carol's the best black mage, and then Dean's probably the fastest character, uh, and Avril's the best healer. Rebecca's kind of like an all-around jack-of-all-trades, master of none, and then Chuck, I'm not even sure, to be honest, like, why he's there, aside from being a husbando. To balance out Carol, I guess. And Dean's dead. Got to get stronger. Did anyone call for a nuke? And your voice went down my spine, Carol. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> See one statue. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Ready for a nuke? I'll never be ready to be turned to a nuke by Carol's voice. Sorry, Carol. We'll stop talking bad about you in front of you. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> we won't.
just want to make an excuse to send her out of the room. That, I mean, that's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. Alright, time to dig! Where is it? Hold on. Up there? Can you please leave so we can talk about uh, talk shit about your voice? Searching. Oh, down there. Okay. okay hold on. Yeah. Yo. Let's try again, shall we? Should be right, here. Date. Yeah, that's what I thought. He was awfully chipper for fall failing to his death. Let's try again, shall we? It's fine, he responds. Uh, goodness, this is confusing. Good. Okay, not that way. So, uh, hey, guess what? Uh, who loves unwinnable fights? Because there's way too many of them in this game. There's... Watch out. What? Where? <sighs> this is the main reason why this is my least favorite of the series. I still like it. But, my god, there's too many scripted fights you lose. Welcome, I am the true Avril, the one who was once called the Ice Queen. You have my thanks for taking care of my vessel for so long. Is this Avril's memories? I don't think memories is the best term with which to describe me. It might be more accurate to say I'm Avril's true consciousness. Though, terminology does not make much of a difference to me. If you find it easier to refer to me as memories, then please do so. But perhaps it would be simplest for everyone to call me the Ice Queen. Then tell us, Ice Queen. How can we get Avril's memories back? It's a simple matter. Avril has only to accept me. It is only... Avril's... Deliberate sealing of her own memories that prevents me from manifesting myself. Avril sealed her own memories? Do you mean the time she spent in cold sleep has nothing to do with it? No, nothing. She has merely chosen cold sleep as a convenient excuse to hide the truth. But when I woke from cold sleep, my memories were... And it's high time you accepted that truth. You know your purpose here, don't you? You entered Cold Sleep 12,000 years ago to wait for the return of our compatriots. Yes, I did. We successfully developed the TF system and activated it for a test, but the moderates interfered and the test failed. Yes. And our compatriots departed into space, hoping for the planet to make a natural recovery. While you, or rather I, voluntarily entered Cold Sleep to await the day our compatriots might return. But why didn't you leave Hilgaia as well? Even if you remained in Cold Sleep, wouldn't it have been more convenient to be on the colony ship with the other radicals? In order to activate the TF system's main power source, two things are required. The activation password and the genetic code of the royal family. Had I departed into space, there was a danger that my genetic code would have mutated over the long voyage. So I remained on Filgaia instead. 
Ah, huh, that makes sense. In point of fact, many of those who returned are now suffering from the VR factor being released by Filgaia. Due to the changes that have taken place in their bodies, it seems Filgaia is treating them as invaders who would cause damage to the planet, and is attempting to eliminate them, just as a person's body does to germs when infected with the disease. So that's the cause of the disease that's afflicting the Veruni. Ah yes, the dangerous virtual reality. Indeed, far from improving, it seems that Filgaia has become even more hostile than it was 12,000 years ago. In order to survive, we must activate the TF system immediately to reform the planet. There is no other solution. But, I know you're in a tough situation, but don't you think it's awfully reckless to just ignore what it will do to humans? I mean, humans and Varunis used to be the same race, right? Humans living on Filgaia without any pro are living on Filgaia without any problems. There ought to be some way the Varuni can survive without reforming the planet. Properly speaking, it's true that there is an alternative that would allow my kind to survive, but... However, it is an unrealistic one. What is it? Tell me. There would be no point in telling you. It would be next to impossible to carry out. Nothing is impossible, not as long as you don't give up. Then can you convince humans to trust and accept the Varuni as friends? Well, maybe not right away, but I know it'll be possible someday. Some day is too late for us. Why do you think I have been awoken? We have no time to wait for a solution. You must accept me, Avril, or you will cause the death of all those people who depend on you. But doing so would destroy humans. Do you still not understand? You chose these humans, Avril, so I had hoped for a peaceful resolution to this, but it seems that that's no longer an option. Very well. If this illusion of companionship is the cause of your hesitation, I will dispel it. Watch out, the Ice Queen's awakening. Disappear, all of you. So yeah, enjoy this battle music, it's really good. <laughs> Oh, it's not going to play it. Dang. Okay, it'll play it the second time we fight her. I try my best. Dean, we shouldn't waste our efforts. She still has control of the space around us. Focus on defense and wait for an opening. No one can stop me now. Farewell. It's Super Avril! Can you keep up with me? Gotta love scripted fights! No one can stand up to me. Damn it. Ugh, she's strong. Have you forgotten where you are? This is part of my consciousness. No power can overcome me. Stop this meaningless fighting. It will only prolong the pain you will suffer before I erase you. No, I will not permit that. Enough of this farce, Avril. How much longer must you continue to deceive those who depend on you? Was it not enough to blame your memory loss on cold sleep when it was you yourself who sealed those memories away? You crossed a gulf of 12,000 years to save them, did you not? You do realize you are contradicting yourself, don't you? What do you mean? You say I entered cold sleep in order to wait for my companions to return from their journey through space. Why then would I need to seal away my memories? Doing so would only prove a hindrance to my duties. Hey, now that you mention it, yeah, without those memories, you wouldn't be able to help everyone when they came back. 
I mean, even now the Varuni Radicals are having problems because they failed to fully activate the TF system, right? Yes, I suspect there is another reason I sealed away my memories. Ice Queen, you know the reason, do you not? There is no need to discuss that. What's important is the lives of... Why do you hide it? Why can you not speak the truth? Is it because the truth would Im impinge? Impinge? I've never seen that word. Upon your reason for existence. What are you talking about? So you do not deny it. Then that tr truth does negate your purpose and is thus central to your own, my own identity, is it not? Enough! Have an effect or impact, especially a negative one. Okay, that is what it means. Get out of my way. Do you really want to die that badly? Technically, all words are made up. That's true. I learned something. Yeah. Me too. No, I don't want to die, but I want even less for Avril to die. Why do you risk so much for someone you've only just met? Uh, we didn't just meet. We met, like, eight streams ago. <laughs> well, I don't know, really. I guess it's because of all we've been through together. Yeah, Avril and I are friends, after all, including you. Learning? I wasn't here to learn. Where was the warning? I'm sorry? And we'll still be friends, even if she changes. Rebecca. I remember when Avril asked me about my revenge, about what meaning it had. To be honest, that hit me pretty hard. I still don't have an answer. But I'm glad she asked. I don't think Mary or Ted would have wanted me to pursue meaningless of revenge. Greg. Ever since I met Avril, she's reminded me of the professor. If not for her, I might still be avoiding everyone except him. Now she's almost like a kind older sister to me, almost like family. Of course, I've got Dean for an older brother. <laughs> Carol. I'm grateful, of course, that she saved my life when I was about to be hanged. It's not just that. She taught me the importance of re resolution, of not just running away from everything like I had been. That's why I'm here with everyone, instead of living alone. That's why I can feel our bonds. Carol's voice accurately so we can hate on it more. Oh, okay, hang on. Right, Avril? Chuck. I've got a ton of memories from the time I've spent with Avril. Memories, yes. We do have a lot of memories together. But I guess the strongest one is that tear I saw on her face when we first met. I was carrying her as we rushed out of Celestial Peak, and I glanced down and I saw that tear. It had more of an impact than any other tear I've ever seen. I remember suddenly being filled with pain when I saw your face. That brought on a tear, and... A tear. If you claim they are that strong, then perhaps... I'll just have to test these bonds of yours. I'll show you how worthless they truly are. Ah! Avril? No! Don't worry, Avril. I'll be right there. Oh, didn't realize a statue was right there. Oh well. Psyched and ready. Stick and move.
think we got the sick bed again. I think I'll try some of the little wreck. Greg made you think about it. Oh, I see. With these arms, I'll never lose. Where's the bed? I don't know where the bed is. Debate game. Psyched and ready. I hope we can all live in peace sometime soon. Thanks for the two month resub, Ultra. Appreciate it. My alerts are back on now that the marathon's over, so. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I had somebody uh, do something special offline, and I'm gonna play the alert on stream. Oh, it didn't show up in my dog. didn't show up in my Streamlabs. Disgusting, Dan's game. So I can't replay it. That's dumb. Uh, so uh, Jacoby, uh, he's just like, <laughs> he's just like, you've done really good content this year. Uh, and <laughs> he's like, Merry Christmas. And then he tier three subbed and has it going for six months. I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's a lot of money you just spent. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Can we find anything? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I waited that time. Yeah, he just slid in by DMs. Like, what the hell? If your bonds are as strong... If your bonds are as strong as you claim, you should know which one of us is the Avril that journeyed with you. Choose. Sorry, Dean. I didn't mean to involve you in my troubles. Our time together means more to me than I can say, but it seems the time has come for us to part ways. Farewell, Dean. You're the Avril I know. You're the one we've spent so much time together with. 
15. Pure coincidence, nothing more. There's no way mere humans could have established such bonds. I'll show you just how easily those so-called bonds of yours are broken. Enjoy this battle music! Only time we get to hear it, so. Can you keep up with me? No one can stop me now. How's this? And somehow she's nerfed. I don't get it either, but whatever. Finders keepers! Jackpot! It is time. My true strength. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. You figured it out. Okay. Your access. Let's do this. Does this work? That's the main thing I was what I was looking for. I'll make it up to you later. The Carol's the best black mage because black mages do spells and they are spells. So you have to speak. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, her is voice time. is damaging. Yeah. Psyched it. It's time to end this. Christ. Capture the high ground and win. I'll move. All right, back to work. I'm riled up now. No one can stop me now. I'm riled up now. That black him. <laughs> Did your birthday's damage? I wasn't paying attention. To be honest. I must cut in. Time to spread a little pain around. Please move. I would like a uh, ice queen to move from the wind hex. That'd be great. Make her way less threatening. I hope you're aware of how foolish you are. I'm so glad I'm Avril has crisis action. It's such a busted ability. Yeah, that's a relief. Hope you know what you're getting into. Mm. There you go. Not particularly, no. 
No one can stop me now. I hope you're aware of how foolish you are. That hurt! No? Alright. Guess we're doing this. This is the mark of my true strength. No problem! <laughs> no problem! Mark of your true strength? There we go, okay. Can you keep up with me? <laughs> okay. Hope you know your position is the Hope key you to know. everything. Oh. Guess we're Belial right now. Thanks for taking my healer away from me. Okay, good. Attack Greg. He's my tank. For that. There you go. Try this. You'll get better. I'll move. You're aware of how foolish you are. <sighs> no one can stop me now. So yeah, this is also kind of when the game spikes in difficulty a little bit. Situation? So, yeah. As you can probably tell. I think it's time to end this. Give me all you got. Cause we're getting closer and closer to end game, so. We will not lose. Okay. No one can stop me now. Let's do this. I'm just Stinkin gonna trap move. her. Stinking move. You want to start something or what? I will not lose. I'll keep her healed up. I feel wonderful. You can run, but you can't hide. All right, MP restored. I feel wonderful. There. There. Let me teach you a thinger. Take this. Let me teach you a thinger. What's a thinger? That's fine. Hit the water hex. You do like nothing. I can't to word a thinger. <laughs> Save. Oh my god, stop. A finger and a thing. Oh, I see. This is the mark of my true strength. That hurt. That makes sense. We got a got my target now. This is refreshing. I hope you're aware of how foolish 
hope you're aware of how foolish you are. Hope you know what you're getting into. Up. We got We got up. I don't know what we got up, but we got to It must be done. Oh my god, really? Christ. What's this? Okay. Uh-huh. Can you keep up with me? Jerk. You're aware of how foolish you are. Oh, what's this? I mean, really? <laughs> It's a long story. But that's not actually it. Well, it is Avril, but it's basically her sealed memories. Footwork is everything. Yeah, we're inside of Avril's mind, basically. Okay. I'm gonna send you packing. Yeah. Woo! Why? Avril and I, we are one and the same. I refuse to accept this. I cannot let you defeat me. I must have let my guard down. Avril's double, huh? Well, we still won't let up on her. You leave me no choice. I will take the risk of forcibly replacing your consciousness. Don't bother, you cannot break our bonds. Haven't you realized your power is almost exhausted? What? Avril, you haven't. It's that TF system test from 12,000 years ago that you've been trying desperately to hide, isn't it? The test itself failed due to the moderate's interference, but there was another incident that occurred as well. Dimensional turbulence from the shock caused by the moderate's interference. But, but there were no casualties from that dimensional turbulence. Stop trying to make up excuses. Indeed, there were no casualties. There was, however, exactly one person who was affected by it. That person was... I finally realize that I cannot reject you. After all, you and I are the, the one and the same. You have your idea of justice, and I have mine. Who can decide which is correct? No, no one can. Justice is relative. It, me it can mean different things to different people. Yes, exactly. So I have no choice but to accept you. I will save the humans. I will fulfill your desire and save the Varuni as well. But that's impossible. You should know as well as I what Dean's response would be to that. Oh, you mean that line? It's a good one, though. I thought I'd be tired of hearing it by now, but I guess not. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It really gets you pumped up. Well, it's true, isn't it? You can do anything as long as you don't give up. Avril! Avril! A voice, a warm, tender voice, calling from a distance. Avril, are you okay? I have slept for 12,000 years that I might hear this voice once more. I know the joy will only last for a few short moments. But... It is for that very reason my most precious treasure 
kept my promise, Dean. I've come back. Avril! Avril! Dean. Avril, are you okay? You wouldn't wake up. You have me really worried. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? You could rest some more if you... I've come back, haven't I? At last, I've come back. Avril? What, huh? Avril? Finally, I've met you again. Avril, what's wrong? Her head's probably still a little screwy. She should be fine in a bit. Oh, they're 100%. Well, I guess I'll let it slide this time. God, stop being a jealous bitch, Rebecca. I'll let it slide this time. Ugh. Can't touch my man that isn't actually my man. Dean, I've missed you. I've wanted to see you so much. Avril. Shut up, Rebecca. We still won't let it slide that you shot the audience. Yeah. April, are you feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry I grabbed you like that, Dean. No, it's okay. I mean, it looked like your memories were still all jumbled up and stuff, so... Anyway, so you said there was still some things you couldn't remember? I'm afraid so. I was able to recall the events that occurred since waking from cold sleep, but everything before that is still fuzzy. Yeah, that's too bad. She routinely shoots us. That's why... <laughs> He doesn't use Rebecca in combat because we would be at risk. Yeah, of her acrobatic shooting. But it does mean that there's no longer any way to fully activate the TF system. Isn't it better that way? Well, yeah, I guess, but still. So you took the Ice Queen into yourself, right? And you don't have to worry about her taking over you anymore? Yes, she is a part of me now. And while she will no longer take over me, I've accepted her feelings as well. I will work to find a way for both races to live on Fulgaia without sacrificing either of them. And there's still the matter of gaining humans' independence from Varuni, too. Looks like you got a lot of work ahead of you, Dean. Maybe, but it seems to me that those are all connected. The important thing is for both races to accept each other, right? There are things only humans can do, and things only Jabruni can do. Yes, if humans and Varuni can accept each other, I see no reason why they can't live together. Now that's what I like to hear. In that case, I'd like to show you how things are for Varuni right now. There's a facility west of here that used to be called the Cradle. Many Varuni who couldn't adapt to Felgaia are resting and recuperating there. Go and meet them. That should show you what you need to do next. Cradle, right? Got it. Hold on, not so fast. The monsters here on Locus Solus are incredibly strong. Take Asgard with you. It seems to be fond of you. Really? Yes! Fond of us? Do you mean you can understand its thoughts? As a golem hunter, that's certainly something I'd be interested in. Its thoughts? Of course not. It's all about feelings. Spiruni, human, golem? Doesn't matter. Feelings are what's important. Okay. Uh... Okay. Captain, you're so cool! Sorry, I was reading ahead again. So that's how Dean's going to be when he grows up. I know it. 
Asgard's waiting for you in the hold. Take this. You can use it to call Asgard whenever you need to. You're so cool. I am? I mean, thanks. Do you just want to be on my list or something? <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, everybody. Let's get to the hold. Shadow, you're so cool. Here's some proof I think you're cool. Aww. Thank you. Thank you for the 28 month resub. Jeez. Yeah, I needed that. You realize that list is private, right? I'm not sharing it with anybody. Shadow, you're so cool. Here's some proof that I think you're cool smiley face. You gotta love my delayed alerts, don't you? The text-to-speech. Yeah. Probably already on a few lists. The only list I care about is those Santa's naughty list. Oh, okay. Yes, this is the best thing ever. Ugh, I'm getting dizzy from all the coolness. Calm down, Dean. You're getting too excited. But but it's my own golem. I finally got my own golem, and it's the same golem who whose arm left fell down at Celestial Peak. Oh man, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna faint. I know how you feel, Dean. I could barely hold back my own feelings about golems. Huh? You too, Chuck? I didn't become a golem hunter for nothing, you know. Lately, I've just been treating it as work, but I remember when I was a kid, I'd always dreamt about golems, and I swore that one day I'd... Ah! Oh no, Chuck's lost himself. <laughs> Seems that men remain childish no matter how old they grow. Well, Greg at least seems to be keeping himself calm. I guess you don't really have any reason to like Ohms after all, right, Greg? Yeah. Though now that i found the target of my revenge, I don't really hold any hate for innocent golems. Really? Well, even so, I'm impressed the way you're keeping calm. Nothing like these two louts. Yeah. I wouldn't dare admit that I'm actually having a hard time containing myself, too. Here, let me show you how to upgrade Asgard. T totally calm. Totally calm. Hang on a sec. Not like I like golems or anything.
systems obey their own programming in battle, so they'll take whatever action is best. I can't believe I used Rock Smash and a Pokemon came out. It's a golem! Let's wait and see how the battle proceeds. Yeah? Then I'll just do my best to cheer him on. Come on, Asgard! Gotta love auto battles. Damn it! Asgard! Is it Kanto Golem or the Alolan Golem? Well, ours is black, so I assume ours is the Alola one and theirs is the Kanto one. Gets no experience, gets money though. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Asgard. Take a breather for a while. Phew, I need a breather. <laughs> wow, Dean. Gonna lie down, watch a movie, and sleep. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping in. You have a good one, Ultra. It would seem that the information I received from the Radicals is at least partially cor correct. Dean needs a breather. What information? That you need a breather. Thanks. The Radicals provided me with a lot of information after waking me from cold sleep. Undoubtedly, much of it was tailored for their benefit. But at its base, it seems to be correct. However, I don't want to confuse you, so I'll refrain from mentioning what is clearly biased. I'll leave that to you, then. You lost your memory, after all. I won't blame you if what you say isn't quite true. Yeah, and besides, Avril's in the best position to judge how much of what they said is true and how much isn't. So I'll trust what you say more than anything, Avril. Right, everybody? Thank you, everyone. I'm truly happy I was able to meet you all. It's not that big a deal, Avril. After all, it's only normal for friends to trust each other, right? Yes, I suppose so. I trust all of you as well. But please, don't hesitate to ask if there's anything you want to know. 
Sure. Actually, there's something. I wanted to ask you about the Varuni. What is it? Uh, I forget. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sam Dean. I need a breather. I need to remember. <sighs> it's okay, because after this dungeon, then... Uh... Things aren't great. In terms of boss battles. Oh, I get it. Okay. You know, I wish I could make his targeting go better, but... That is really convoluted for a first puzzle, though. Jesus. <gasps> yeah, it's super wonky. As you can see, that puzzle was very convoluted. So that also didn't help. I don't remember this dungeon at all, by the way, <laughs> so... I remember the next four dungeons, but I don't remember these. Like, the ones after this. Alright, if things get done today, I your head out. Okay! I'll probably be done by after I finish this, this dungeon. Then we get to the pain in the butt dungeons and bosses. <sighs> so remember how I mentioned there was one-on-one -on -one duels? Yeah, those are happening soon.
but you have yourself a good one, Steven. Encounter rate. Earth, which you're standing on, of course. This definitely looks like a security system. I don't recognize this writing, but I'll try to decipher it. Well, Ultra's gone, and now I can't do an annoying voice for Carol. Oh well. Hmm, it looks like we'll have to split up to hold down the switches that open the doors to each room. Then we activate the final switch, and we should be able to proceed. Boy, this is reminding me of Barrier Shelter. Uh, I'm fine with Rebecca coming in. From, uh, Wild Arms 1. <sighs> fine. Okay, cool. We have to keep pushing. I don't want that or that. Okay. And my party's messed up still, so, you know, that's cool.
Yes, you do. Sorry. What next? If we can recover, we will not lose. Gotcha. Restore ourselves. Okay. That's fine. Why? I mean, I'm not going to complain about the waste of a turn, but... I'm like, are you just not gonna move? I'm okay with this, but we gotta protect everyone. There we go. Over there, right? Got in the wind. Go get them for me. What next? Take some quiet healing. Dean's a good support character. I'm going to get real serious now. Don't hold yourself back. Back in action. 
action! I'll keep on going! I love how Rebecca's just chilling at level 49. Like, I don't even care. Hey, Avril, this is supposed to be a place for healing people who are sick, right? So, how come it's got monsters in it? I think it would be best to discuss that once we've arrived at our destination. I think Captain Bartholomew wants you to feel that for yourself. Oh, then I guess I'll save that question for later. So who has the hand badge now? Carol and Greg, if I remember right. Uh, I can take it off of Carol. She does not need it. Give it to Rebecca, I guess. Because I'm going to need her for one fight and one fight only. Unfortunately, and I forgot to swap Rebecca out. Dang it! What? Let's find a better spot. Nice. Great. I'll make it up to you later. Oops. Didn't mean to use that move. It's fine. Use your brains out here. Did a thing, Rebecca. Yay. Uh, I'll give the other one to Avril for now. Actually, she doesn't really need it, to be honest. Because she doesn't have a solo fight. Rebecca can have the sky medium. She had her story fight already. Orbs.
Hell yeah, Anna. You'll pay for that. Pretty good, I gotta say. Give me all you've got. Uh, the plot just got pretty um, intense. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it because a lot happened. <laughs> it honestly might be better for you to just watch the VOD later if you're you interested. Because a lot happened. <laughs> I don't know if I could do I don't know if I could do it justice trying to explain all of it that was pretty rough but uh plot got good plot got good real quick. <laughs> Not where I wanted to go. And <laughs> you're conflicted. Yeah, her voice is, uh, something. It's, uh, not great. <laughs> but she's the best black mage in the game, so I use her for that alone. are getting sick because they're being rejected by Filgaia, right? As long as they've got a spaceship, why don't they just give up on Filgaia and find another planet to live on? If only it were that easy. For one thing, planets with the same sort of environment as Filgaia are extremely rare. Imagine planets are like grains of sand at the beach. You could scoop up a fistful of sand and you'd be lucky to find even one people could live on. They spent 12,000 years in space, right? Surely they must have found at least one. From what I heard, they did f indeed find and settle on one such planet. But that planet's resources were very limited and only lasted them about 5,000 years. 5,000 years? That's all? Out of all the time since they left Filgaia? So they spent 7,000 years wandering through space? Yes. They spent more time searching for a world to live on than they did actually living on the one they found. Moreover, despite all their time in space, they still considered Filgaia their home and dreamt of one day returning. I will say the plot starts getting good around like the half hour hour mark of the stream, so just to save you a little bit of time. And then it just kind of snowballs for about two hours. <laughs> Beyond that, there is another reason why the Varuni are currently unable to return to space. And that is... I'll explain when we arrive at our destination. Okay, understood. Nothing here, okay. Just double checking.
You're doing great, Greg, on the counters. Uh, I am going to have you back out because you're dying. Sorry, I couldn't help out more. Uh, it's fine. Shouldn't have picked a fight. Oh boy. So think of it more like um, how humans need like oxygen to survive. Basically, the Veruni need like it was never explained, but they they basically need their own sort of substance to you know survive. And the planet here, like you know, it rejects them. I'm going to switch to Avril immediately because I'm going to need a healer. And thanks to the badge that Dean has, he always gets a crit on his first attack every battle. So that's nice. I love enemies that can just instant death. I don't, by the way. I need your power. I actually think I'm going to leave Avril out, just because the enemies are getting tougher and tougher. Which means I will give her the badge that gives her double experience. No, no, Greg needs it. Greg 100% needs it, never mind for his, his solo fight. Because we're coming to the point where uh, you hear Yuri Lowenthal return. Yeah, he's uh, he's Dean. The main character that I'm walking around as. So, everybody has all of the characters basically have like their own like sort of enemy in this game. And uh, I'm getting to the point where everybody has to do their solo fight. I've already done Dean's and I guess Avril's question mark, even though it's not really a solo fight. But Greg, Rebecca, Carol, and Chucks all suck. Because it's late game. And they're going to start coming up after this dungeon's over. <laughs> you want to take Which, uh... Spoiler alert, I'm more than likely going to grind for off-screen. 
Well, Carol is fine. I can now Greg is fine. Feature. It's just his boss is really hard. Rebecca is meh, and Chuck's just kind of there. <laughs> All right, time to dig. Being my husbando. Here we go again. So I am in area 17. We're going left. Okay. This is literally barrier shelter from the first game with activating, deactivating barriers and leaving your party members behind. Uh, Grab Avril. Uh, where's step five? Okay, grab a... Uh... Oops, nope. Wait, yeah, that's... That's correct, okay. Did I leave Chuck in the wrong spot? Hold on. This place is confusing too. It doesn't help. Okay, so I'm in 20. Step four, leave Avril there. Leave south, going to area 17. Okay. Then go back to yeah. 16. Grab yeah. Chuck. Then go back. Then go back to 20. Then 19. Christ. Rebecca. And go back to area 20. Uh, step seven. Grab Avril.
Then put Chuck here. Then go here. Twenty-three. Uh. Put Avril here. <laughs> Motor. Let's see. Okay. Noted. All right. Let's keep going. Ugh, Rebecca's in the team again. something or what there's nothing I have to grab from any of them so that's nice yikes oh wow okay I mean shh. I'm riled up now come on come back to me I hope I meet your expectations It's not scripted, no. Hope you know what you're getting into. Footwork's real important here. What next? Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome back. Um I forget who has isolate. I'll let you take this for me. It's either Chuck or Rebecca. I'm riled up now. Come and get I guessed correctly. Okay. Let's settle this. Chuck's gonna be useful. Spread out some. Welcome back. I'll get you for that. This fight's terrible. I mean, I'm just going to take the L, honestly. And just retry the fight. Um, 
All right. I was hoping you'd kill me. Come and get me. Can you stop wasting my time and just kill me? Really? Do you think this is gonna be easy for oh, good? Really? Are you ever going to attack me? You're better than I thought. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Was that hard? It's getting dark. I'm fine with Dean being out. Don't take this too seriously. I mean, yeah, but didn't see that happening. I'll let you take this for me. gonna hold off a bit on attacking. Now they can't get back together. It must be done. If we can recover, we will not lose. Are you in a rush to get it done before sundown? I'm fine with two of them being together. Begin. Accept my most powerful healing.
Can't back down now, guys. Watch this. Gather is an issue, though. There's nothing I can do about that. again. There's the gather again. Oh. I was expecting something up them to gather together again, but I guess not. That's I'll fine. You for that. I shall muster up all my remaining power. Can't back down now, guys. See if you can handle this. Now they can't combine together, so that's nice. Accept my most powerful healing. No problem. If you think this is gonna be easy, forget it. Dead. He's not. Okay, cool. I shall muster up all except my most powerful healing. I will not let's restore ourselves. I'd like Chuck more if his team, team attack with Dean costs less, but Greg's costs less, so I use him instead. Otherwise, Chuck would be he'd be fine. Like honestly. MP. MP restored. Such a relief. Please move. Fully recharged and looking good. I'll take all of you on at once. We have 
gotta keep pushing! Why are you're you- wonderful. Are you pregnant, Dean? You have to keep pushing? You're going into labor? No? Alright. I'm not gonna lose! Quiet healing. Fully recharged and looking good. Take your top. We are in late game, so the bosses are considerably more durable. Now, what's with all this, that noise? P Professor? Ah, Carol! My dear Carol, are you okay? Nobody was mean to you, were they? Yes, I'm fine. Everybody here was really nice to me. And I had a lot of fun. Hmm. You had fun without me? That's not fair! No, no, don't be silly. You could at least act like a grown-up and thank everybody. Well, I suppose. Please allow me to thank you for taking care of... You! You're the ones who took the Mirror of DeSoto from me! Nice to see you too, Professor. Wait a minute, the Mirror of DeSoto? You don't mean... Yep, he's the one who stole the mirror. It is him, now I remember. This is the guy I saw sneaking around the vault in Mirror Pulse. Watch your mouth, you're speaking to Elvis. First and foremost, I am the Rock King of Legends. Among the four of Fugai historians. Besides, you ended up taking the mirror anyway, didn't you? Yeah, thanks to that we were able to save Chuck. Wrong! Thanks to that, my research was delayed. Just how are you planning to take responsibility for that? Professor, so you did seal that mirror, d d didn't you? Uh, well... How many times do I have to tell you not to steal things from people? But Carol! Everything was explained to Mirror Pulse guards afterwards. I don't like people who make excuses. Ugh. Besides, you were able to finish your research on the mirror that mirror later, weren't you? Did you learn anything from it? Well, I learned that it was merely a ceremonial tool, nothing more. So what right do you have to get angry at them? None! Ugh. Wow, Carol, I never guessed you had a side it like that. Anyway, what are you doing here? This is Veruni territory, isn't it? It is indeed, so... So, you, you're not... Yes, the professor is a Veruni, why do you ask? What? You serious? I kinda had a feeling like that. With a body built that differently from humans, anybody'd notice, really. Yeah, yeah, so I'm dense, okay? Just like Rebecca's always saying. I think I'll refrain from commenting on that. Why don't I ask you the same thing? What are you doing here? Well, the captain of the Mayflower told us there was something in here that he wanted us to see. Ah, the former Johnny Appleseed, so you're the ones he's chosen as representatives of humans. Very well, come along. Your destination is right ahead.
What in the world? How horrible, I can't even look. Why, I thought people were supposed to be getting cured here. How come they're all mummies? Indeed, as you say, this was once a recovery facility for patients suffering from the mysterious illness we now know to be the rejection by Phil Gaia. Was once, then it isn't so any longer? Regrettably, no. This facility is no, cra no longer a cradle, as it used to be called a mere coffin. Why? The disease did not affect everyone equally. Some took ill when still young, while others exhibited no symptoms until their later years. Research was done at this facility into finding the cause of the disease and combating it with either medicine or genetic modification. G genetic modification? So the Varuni ha had it that tough, huh? Yes, we had no leeway to be concerned about such abstract considerations as ethics. But we pushed too hard, too fast. A trivial mistake led to a terrible accident here. The damage was so great that it allowed experimental micro microbes to escape the facility, leading to the appearance of monsters here. Oh, so that's why this place for healing disease is full of monsters. There are still several other facilities like this one, which are functioning normally, but even the Locus Solus is no longer safe. There's no guarantee another accident will not occur, and some of the monsters have grown too strong for even us to handle. Both Felgaia and the Locus Solus close to us, there's no longer anywhere we can go. Nowhere to go, so that's why. Yeah, they're only trying to find a place to live, even if it means reforming Felgaia. Never even guessed. I just assumed the Varuni had it easy and hated them for what they were doing to humans. It can't- that can't be helped. Most humans don't even know of the Locus Solus or the TF system, after all. But, if this is how things really are, we can't just leave it like that. I'd only thought about saving humans, but the Varuni are in such a tough situation, then... I can see why the former Johnny Appleseed chose you. I'd also been searching for a way for both Varuni and human to survive, but without luck. And so preparations continue toward our only remaining option, reformation of the planet. No, you can't do that. Even if it's the only choice left, it's still too selfish to destroy humanity for your own good. There's got to be a way humans and Varuni can live together if we can only find it. What would you suggest? Whatever you try, if you can't at least convince Volsung to cooperate, you won't accomplish much. I had hoped to find some hint in that direction myself, but it looks like my time here has been wasted. There's no point in my remaining here any longer. Farewell, then. Come, Carol. Um, Professor, I think I'd rather go with these people. Hmm? Those words didn't sound familiar. Did I imagine them? What in the world are you doing? Stretching, of course, calming myself down in preparation for asking Carol once more. 
Now then, once more, I've decided to leave this facility. Come along, Carol. Professor, I'm grateful for what you've done for me. But right now, I need want to travel with Dean and everybody as a human. I, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> what what's wrong? Ah, my dear Carol's turned into a teenager. Uh, so, uh, Carol, it looks like the professor left. I don't mind. This is what I want to do. Uh, I used to be afraid of being alone, so I always stayed with the professor. But I think it's time I found my own independence. So I think I've chosen the best course of action that I can. I see. Well, I think you made the right choice. Rebecca! Dean, let's return to the Mayflower and report to Captain Bar Bartholomew. Yeah, the Mayflower. Let's go. Sorry, give me just a sec here. I want to at least get to the part where I can safely grind, and then I'll stop. Oh, I needed that. So, basically a couple more cutscenes. Captain, we're back from the cradle. Hmm, and your thoughts? I'd only been concerned about humans. It looks like the Varuni are trying their hardest to stay alive, too. People in there probably never even thought thought they were going to end up as mummies. Looks like Avril and I chose well. I'm glad to see you've recognized their situation. We're the only ones on Filgaia right now who can truly understand both sides and can make a fair decision. That gives me great hope, but at the same time, I wish I didn't have to place such a heavy burden on you. But you managed to melt the Ice Queen's heart after all. I'm sure you'll find a way forward for both races. Yeah, besides, the harder it is, 
the more it's worth doing. Aren't necessarily evil. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They won't give up until I've done it, no matter what. What was that? Looks like the darkness here. What? Another one incoming. <laughs> I don't believe this. Not bad! Not my, my leash, how could you? What are you thinking? How could you take the lives of our own pe kind like that? Calm yourself, Fairy Dune. You swore allegiance to me, did you not? I am well aware of your dedication to your duties as a soldier. I had thought I had your complete understanding. Are you certain about that evil thing? <laughs> what is this all about? Took you long enough. How many times did we call you in? We can argue over that later. Was that not the tear darkness tear that was used just now? Indeed, twice as a matter of fact. What are you thinking? You can't t take the lives of everyone in the cradles? Oh, and why not? You know as well as any, there is no guarantee they would have survived. They were merely hesitating on their journey toward death, so I helped them along. I can assure you, they felt not an instant's pain. Even so, not even the moderates deserve to have their lives treated so casually. I only did what I believed to be best. Did the rest of you also agree with Fairy Dune, then? Yes, I do. You know how I feel. I don't care either way, though I wish you would have let me do the killing. I despise them. Those despicable humans who dared to take the Ice Queen from me, who attempt to climb the wall between the races. This is a warning to them, and to all. You would do well to heed it. Oh. Okay, dropped some frames there. We're okay now. The wall between Varuni and human is a sacred thing that cannot be destroyed. Anyone who dares challenge it deserves a thousand deaths. Lady Diana. There's another reason behind my use of the darkness tier as well. It is a signal, the first step toward my next goal. Prepare to receive your new orders, my sentinels. Damn it, Volsung, you bastard! What was that, Captain? darkness here, an energy weapon that uses the life force of the people in the cradles for power. So those two shots have just killed everybody sleeping there. What? How, how could he? How could he treat the people of his own race like that? I don't know either. I thought they were at least trying to save their own lives. Those three check both out the window. Huh? 
Captain, it looks like Volsung's starting a global transmission. What? Put it on screen. I am Volsung, leader of the Varuni Radical Movement. My comrades, you have undoubtedly noticed the signal flare, which I have set off. The next stage of our plan has begun. We will no longer have to live in fear of Felgaia's interference. The energy released by the Darkness Sphere has brought the TF system to nearly full power. Humans of Felgaia, you will serve us well in becoming part of the new Felgaia we will construct. I hope you make good use of the short time you have remaining. Farewell. So that was the bastard's plan. To power the TF system within the darkness tier. Huh? I thought you said Avril was the only one who could bring the TF system to full power. To be precise, my role is to activate the power generator for the TF system. But if an alternate source can be found for the massive amount of energy needed to power it... With all the life energy from the cradles, it's not out of the question. You! Cut the energy flow from the cradles to the TF system now! I can't! The system's got a security lock on it. That'll take time to break through. Damn it, Volsung had this planned from the start, didn't he? And there's only one thing to do. We've got to stop the TF system. If we have to smash it to bits. Huh, I figured you'd come up with something like that. Though you're right, it's probably the fastest way. You're gonna head off, good luck with the rest of this. Okay, I'm not gonna be going much, much longer, so. Pretty much getting done with the cutscenes. And then once I get the teleport orb... Uh, that is when we'll do some grinding. I was afraid of that. I didn't want to put you in that kind of danger, but we don't have much choice anymore. I will mention that, um, next stream will be a buttload of side quests, so... TF systems of top importance to them. I'm sure they'll be guarding it with all their strength. Will you still do it? Of course. After all, if we just st stand around, we're gonna die, right? So we've got to give it a shot. Yeah. Never thought things would get this big, but we can hardly back down now. Yeah, you know, humans' lives are in danger. What better time to do side quests, right? Yeah, nothing to do but charge forward. Never thought I'd be working to try and save so many people's lives. Feels kind of good, you know? Uh, all this is making me dizzy. But if there's anything I can do to help, I'll go with you. I feel that it's my duty to go. If I have the power to activate the TF system, then it's my my place to stop it as well. Let's go, Dean, to the TF system. Yeah, let's stop it. Counting on you, Dean. The TF system is divided among several locations on Filgaia. You can get to it through the towers that were built for the TF system experiment 12,000 years ago. Each delivers energy to the TF system through elemental circuits of fire, water, earth, and wind. Circuits are installed at the top of each tower. If you pull them out, the tower should stop functioning, cutting off the energy to the supply to the TF system. Go find all the TF system towers and stop them. Gotcha. Sorry about dragging you all into this. It's something I ought to be taking care of myself. But I can't go to Fulgaia any longer. The VR factor? Yeah, it's my fault for handling the se settlement of Fulgaia badly. I screwed up, let a class system form, and the result is this. No, Captain, it's not your fault. It's a question of morals of all else. All of us who use technology. There's no reason for you to take the blame. No, it's at least partly my fault. I was in charge, after all. And I've got to make up for that, to keep my pride, if nothing else. I understand your f feelings far too well, Captain. I have my own sins to atone for, after all. Yeah, I guess you do, and now Volsung's trying to take the wrong path. 
We've got to stop him, no matter what. Yes, we must. Take this. It'll let you go anywhere you want in an instant. You'll need it to get yourselves prepared. Now, get back to Fulgaia. One of Asgard's former engineers is living... Where was it? Oh yeah, Capo Bronco. I'll send you there. Huh? One of Asgard's engineers is at Capo Bronco? Yeah, guy by the name of Tony. Old man Tony? Tony was one of Asgard's engineers? Amazing! I know he always talked about being a golem engineer, but he worked on Asgard? Wow. It sure is a small world, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you think that's a little too small? Drop you off with Asgard near Capo Bronco, then. Go get yourselves ready. Captain, we're ready for transport. Okay, activate. It's up to you, Dean. <laughs> Tony! Hey, Tony. Nice to see you again. My, you certainly seem to have grown up quickly, Dean. No, Tony, that's Greg. I'm over here. I know, I know, I'm just joking. Why? Don't worry about it, There's a, they're always like this. Seriously, Dean, you definitely seem to have grown up. It looks like you've made some friends, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Anyway, I heard all about you. You were an engineer for Asgard, huh? <laughs> Looks like you found Johnny Appleseed after all, didn't you? Excellent. Yeah, but my journey's not done yet. There's still stuff I need to do, so I want your help. I know, you don't have to tell me. You probably realize this, Dean, but you can't underestimate Volsung's power. Gained a lot of power in a short time and used it to climb straight to the top of the radicals and expand their influence. Even I've heard about it here in the countryside. He doesn't care about eliminating anything or anyone that gets in the way of his goals. Yeah, otherwise he wouldn't even have even thought of using the darkness tier. Indeed, it looks like you've resolved yourself, Dean. Of course, we all have. I see. Well then, I suppose I could lend you a hand. I thought this time might come, so I pulled out Asgard's blueprints. I thought I'd power it up a bit. Really great, you know all about Asgard, don't you? If you come by any command pieces, bring them to me, I'll plug them right in. And remember that golem part you brought back? I used part of it to make a new power unit for Asgard, here. Wow, Tony, you really are amazing. Okay, let's get right to customizing. Don't rush, Dean. I'd like to... I'd make use of that bolt of yours as well. Huh? You mean this? Yes, it's full of memories, so I thought I'd attach it to Asgard. That should help build a new bond between you two. Bond between me and Asgard. Wow, Dean, so you finally got your own golem, huh? But it seems that all is due to fate. When coincidences become necessities, one can feel a great power as well. It seems as though your meeting with Dean was the beginning of everything, don't you agree? Yes, perhaps so. Dean, as I'm always telling you, don't give up until you're done. Yeah, I know. I won't let them have their way. Well then, let's see what we can do with Asgard. So Asgard was also in the first game as well. In uh, Ultra Code F.
Okay, now I'm at the part of the game where I can grind, so I'm gonna do that offline. I'm gonna do that for a little bit, and then next stream will be lots and lots of side quests, and then the stream after that uh, will be the solo fights. So, yeah, whenever I stream this again, of course. Yay! Um, all right, let me see who's online. Don't really see anybody on aside from Yan, who was in here earlier. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back on tomorrow with some Zooter, aka Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey, Cloud. <laughs> I know you were lurking. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, bud.